Hi, people. I'm back to talk about the Bad Girls Club. And every time they argue and shit, they just sound like a question mark should be at the end of their sentences. Oh, my God. They're like robots. Oh, you said this to me, and I hit you. Question mark. And you are a stupid bitch. Question mark. But when you be coming on TV trying to be phony and fake as hell, like, for real, y'all bitches should have practiced or something. It just really get on my nerves how everybody's calculated. Kentucky, she's even calculated. Like, she can't even argue without sounding like a robot. This, this ain't the fucking Futurama, like, for real. Uh, Char and Sydney get to fighting. I'm not even sure who won that fight. Maybe y'all can tell me. It really don't matter because Sydney can sound kind of fake, too. I got meat on my booty. Like, bitch, shut up. For real, shut up. Try, you trying too hard. And what's up with that damn cupcake tattoo? Bitch, she got the strawberry shortcake logo on her arm. Where did you get the idea for that tattoo? A easy bake oven stick? But at least you already knew um, you were going to look like a hoe. When uh, Shar and Sydney got into it, Fat Bat jumped up. You know, Fat Bat, a.k.a. Kentucky, don't jump up and... You know, slugged the bitch, got her little dick in. Ashley jumped up too, but the security guard kind of knocked her over a little bit. But, you know, I really appreciate them all trying to double dash that ass because I don't like that bitch. And I usually feel like jumping somebody is like um, a coward move. But some bitches, a regular ass whooping just won't do. Okay, Shaw had this bitch in the audience. They put cousin below her name. It's a dark skin cheek with a short hair. She kind of looked like um, Mr. Burns and Bart Simpson had a baby. Flash wish with snipe. And then she out there talking about, you gonna get walked. You gonna get walked like a dog. I guess she was talking to who? Steve. She was talking to somebody. Whatever for them girls was jumping on. Um, Shar. Um, she ain't about it. Because to be honest, if it were me and my family member were on stage and she was getting her ass walked and socked by three different bitches, I don't give a fuck what security is up in now. They're gonna have to work. I'm gonna make them work. They're gonna have to come and get me. Because I'm running on the stage to help um, partake in a little bit of um, ass whooping. Yes, I am. I'm going to have to whoop up on. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. I wouldn't sit in the damn audience. Y'all three bitches in the audience barking and shit towards the bitches on the stage. Get up. Get up and run over there and hit one of them bitches. Like, for real? So you really shouldn't have even said nothing with your ugly ass. She ain't ugly. She ugly. Y'all seen that ugly ass? Shaw cousin sitting in the audience. That, that's a ugly. And she be an ugly man, really. And I ain't saying I'm perfect, but I'm just saying, damn, some shit. She one of them bitches. You, can, you can't even work with. You can't even damn close one eye and try to just be like, oh, kind of. You know, I can. I can look at you like this. You can't fuck with a tray. No, bitch. No, bitch. Stevie Wonder can't see it. And then just to try to say. Well, dang, I couldn't hear, you know, when they thought Ashley said, uh, I'm pretty. Jessica, if you couldn't hear, bitch, you should have, um, you shouldn't have been able to talk either, bitch. You can't hear, you don't need to speak, okay? Hear no evil, speak no evil, bitch. If you wasn't sure what she said, you should have shut the fuck up. You shouldn't have said it, and then you shouldn't even let no damn air come out of your mouth. For real, if you didn't know what she was saying. See, you would have got your ass whooped for that if that were me. Now, you would have wang it, wang, you would have had to wang, honey. You would have had to wang. You sure would have with the blue cheese and everything. I love soccer meal instigator in the face. You know, as we were just saying, who says that? And they're just so right. They just made them all look ridiculous. Just gonna laugh at uh -huh, I couldn't hear the. No, you wouldn't be able to hear a cop punch you in the side of your damn head. That's the call, Cheryl, I was saying. Why you always there after stuff happened? If you notice, Ash was sitting right beside Char, and she just kept calling that bitches on stuff. Ash was getting slick with her every type of fucking way. Tyson, like, Char sitting right there, and the only thing Char, she's like, well, um, I should have been fighting you, and Char might make a face like, like, Char, the bitch sitting beside you saying all type of slick shit, and you a bad girl, bitch, stop. Just to say Lauren can handle her own. Yes, I agree. Lauren can handle her own, and so can punching bag. That bitch, yeah, she can handle her own, but she can't fight a leak. All she can do is take a damn leak. Perez tried to call uh, Jen Oompa Loompa on the slide. I'm so sick of him. 
I mean, where is Will I Am when you need them? Perez just really be messy as fuck. You know, just because you're a girl boy don't mean you got to be messy like that, for real. You be He be fucking overdoing it, like, for real. Talking about he, um, he the damn baddest bad girl, standing up in his damn shiny and sparkly uh, Willy Wonka outfit. That, that motherfucker, he, he, this bitch was covered in gold glitter. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. <clears throat> yeah, try to call Jen out. Jen is saying that. I would have turned around and punched Perez in his face. Like, somebody really just could have turned around and punched him. I don't like him. He's due for another black guy. Like, for real. Somebody, please, please. He's due. Will Marie said they could have done better with whooping Sean's ass. I agree. I agree. Um, but, you know, how you gonna beat a bitch ass ain't never around? How you gonna beat a bitch ass always running? She don't show up to the fight over. Only way you better whoop that bitch ass is if, if she die and become a ghost. Cause other than that, she, she, she play like, she play damn ghost. Bitch disappear. But, you know, if she was a ghost, maybe you have a chance she'd be in the damn room. Then she would think nobody can't see her. I can't stand your wow um, Jessica saw this cheap shot Nikki did, and, oh, Nikki, you're a sucker, you're, see, all these bitches, I, I, this show just really got on my nerves, this bitch is straight, sucker punch you, Nikki, you suck, suck, more like fucked up, what, why, why are these people, all I'm was sucking on Nikki ass, and I couldn't understand it either, unless she paying all them hoes, I don't get it. Nikki didn't hear Jessica until she held back. You know how the Bad Girls Club might take a week off and they don't do a show that week and they kind of roll clips that was throughout the season? It, this kind of what the reunion was. So basically, this reunion was just us watching the Bad Girls Club with the Bad Girls Club. <laughs> they think Nikki doing a whole bunch of lousy, trifling shit. And Nikki's excuse is, I'm a bad girl. Her and Sharky talking about they're a bad girl. No, y'all some low damn bitches. It's the difference between a bad girl and a low damn bitch. For real. This is the bad girls club. It, it's the bad girls club, not the trifling bitch club. They really confused. They don't know what a bad girl is. But I would have showed Nikki what a damn bad girl was. I would have showed sure I would've showed them bitches on the reunion what was holding them bitches back from hitting them. I don't understand. Like was it some type of invisible magnetic force? Sucking them to the side of the room they was on. Like, what kept them from running over there and diving full speed on them bitches? Okay. Corey found out a dude she was talking to on the show killed somebody. I think you need to change your strategy, bitch. Corey, they put the thing about the, her hairdresser she used to screw, and I didn't know she used to screw her gay hairdresser. Corey, your uh, hairdresser is gay. If he kissing me, he gay. Kissing me, and doing a, a micro a braids, pin curl, and dye, um, they just don't sound straight to me. It don't sound straight. Sound like he pissed glitter. The glitter, the type of glitter that was on Perez Hilton's uh, outfit. Yeah, he did. He like a gold disco ball. He like a conductor. The motherfucker had on tutu train head. Perez just was not the ball, baby. Then Shark gonna bust in when wasn't nobody even talking to hoes. Still prunes. Stick up the ass, booty, body, bitch. Wasn't nobody even talking to her. They asked Ashley about the damn um, Playboy um, experience and uh, does she plan to do anything with that. Cheryl, jealous ass, gonna bust in and talk about her silly ass whole t shirt. Cheryl's a jealous bitch. You could tell right there. Everything Ashley do, she hating on it. Ashley can't even come and say Cheryl hating on it. Like, I'm so sick of them. They hey no Ashley and Jade from the get. Everybody, really. Say some shark gonna say some shit like being a bad girl ain't about sitting back and being cute. Well, bitch, that's what you did. That's what you did. Well, most of the time you were running, bitch. I bet your feet hard as hell because you were running from a fight here and there, left and right. You can't get away that quick unless you run. Uh, Harriet Tubman and shit, like like she a damn underground railroad bitch. Every time somebody got to fighting, you were running for freedom, bitch. We didn't know where you was. Time that bitch, I don't know how she do it. The shark said she was better than Tanisha, Kat, Katia, Genovicia, Natalie. Like, Shar, you not even better than Kentucky. You let the bitch that can't fight 
whop you in your head. It's equivalent to letting a fucking uh, a, a, a leaf kick your ass, and a leaf don't bother no damn about it, y'all. I want y'all really just. I'd be glad. I'm so glad the bitch gonna be gone. She'll be taking off the clothes somewhere. Sure, dashing. Perez was hating on Jay from the time Jay came out there. Oh, low down, summer bitch. Perez, you just mad because uh, Jay looking fly in her dress, bitch, and you want one. You want one with that old tight ass, nut hugging ass, glittery ass, sunshine shining ass, police hat ass. What was up with that suit? It just distracted me. ADD, I, if anybody ADD and they watching this, I know you didn't see shit on the show because you're too busy looking at him. Looking like a damn big ass walking magnum condom. He was hating on Jay like hell. And Nick is still jealous of Jay, okay? Nick is jealous as hell of Jay. They just, how did Jay bring this shit out of them? Bitch just show up. It's Jay like Hitler, you know what I mean? So Perez asked why everybody um was up Nikki Coochie, which I do agree um with his ass on that. Everybody was up Nikki's um coochie, and I'm sure it was a, enough room. All these bitches phony, they all acting. That's it. They phony, they acting. I'm done with these bitches. I'm so glad it's over. And it looks like next season gonna be the shit. And I said I wasn't gonna do no review, y'all, but I don't know. I think I am doing reviews next season. Give me something new to talk about. I'm sick of talking about these old bitches. They talk about Char being phony. Duh. And the rest of them phony and fake as hell, too. And Nikki up there fucking with everybody, pulling all these pranks. And then they get on the Bad Girl Club reunion uh, on the damn stage and see Nikki. And they all, like what the fuck like y'all the sisterhood and shit like, I, I don't like Nikki you don't like Nikki have we forgotten that everyone is against Nikki she's the enemy so mad she didn't get beat I'm mad she trying to get no cake on her but I was most satisfied with the fist she got on her than the cake Come on, you didn't get no cake on you but bitch you got a fist on you and Perez started throwing cake so he's just like a big ass childish Albino looking eight looking motherfucker for real. Perez needs to sit down. He really needs to sit. I'm, he really needs to sit down. I, I just I wasn't feeling Perez. He gets on my damn nerves. Tanisha do too, but I think I'd rather watch her host the show. So um, and I was sick of her talking about the damn cake. Let it go, Tanisha, or lick the plate or something, bitch. Move on with your life. The cake got fucked up. Move on. Shit. You know, after everybody got their little champagne, and I guess everybody gonna get some cake that was toasting or some shit. He gonna grab the cake and throw the motherfucking cake. I ain't got no problem with that. You wanna throw the motherfucking cake. A bitch don't need all them calories in a way. And I can go right over here in the public and they got the best motherfucking cake. I ain't got no problem with the cake. I'm gonna tell you what I got a problem with, bitch. You don't throw no cake and get no damn food fight going, bitch. While I got my drink in my hand. That motherfucker would knock my drink out my hand. I would have dived on his ass like he would have seen. I swear, don't knock my damn drink out of my hand, and I ain't even get a good sip. Hell wrong with him. He don't lost his mind. You don't knock my drink out my hand. I would have knocked his ass out because you look like a damn bottle of champagne with a glitter ass soup. You knock my, I would have, ooh, I would have Superman that. I would have died on that bitch, knock a drink out my hand. I don't play that shit. It's a recession. It's trying to get a drink. I don't got no time to be wasting no drip, no drop, nothing. We do not spill alcohol. It's a recession going on right now. I'm going to tell you, I was feeling the fact that Jay Grandmama and her mama came up on the stage. Jay Grandma, that motherfucker came up there with her damn metal muscle and all. She was ready for war, okay? Don't fuck with my baby, bitch. She was ready. Jay Mama was up there and shit. They were bowed about it. And so, sure, I see your little punk ass friends. They bark with no bite, just like you do. Because if Jay, grandmama now, old that woman can come on a uh, stage and try to get some motherfucking straightening. Okay? Coming on there ready to chastise a bitch by her grandbaby. You can't tell me your punk ass, Bart Simpson, Flash, Wesley Snipe ass, Mr. Burn looking ass cousin couldn't have got up there too while she out there in the audience talking shit. Looking like a broken lamp post. This one, a comedy bitch. Uh, that was foul how Corey did put that cake on her face. These bitches so envious and trifling. They try to do slick shit. That's why Jade probably went home from the jump. 
she probably couldn't deal with all that sleek, sneaky, trifling shit. No, she shouldn't have went home. But some bitches just so sleek and conniving. When I know everybody was throwing a cake, but the way that uh, Cora just wished in her face, got in her hair, I, it seemed like she just trying to be fucking trifling in a way. Like, oh, since we laughing, I'm taking advantage of he, he, he bitch. He was trying to take advantage of the fact that, that you know, they were throwing cake. Jay went here and that shit. I ain't come out here to get cake in my hair. And her hair will keep this fucked up. I've been ready to hurt a bitch too. I would have hurt a bitch. And they trying to get her to come out or whatever they trying to get her to do. But I know the show ended. The show probably would have lasted longer. If, I, don't, I don't know. Because it sounds like they were trying to get her to do something. So I'm thinking the show ended because of all the commotion that happened and shit. But first off, the first bitch that threw some cake on me. I don't give a fuck if it was Perez. While I was on the stake, I just don't play no, I mean, you know, I can play. But you ain't gonna throw no shit up like that on me when I'm dressed up all cute and shit. And the good clothes and stilettos, you ain't gonna throw no cake. And, and if I got on a weave, if I happen to have on a weave that day, and you threw cake in my weave, bitch, I would have snatched a track out and strangled you with it. I don't, don't, you don't play. Just don't play like that. Um... You know, I would have woke shat, uh, short ass side with the cake pan. Uh, no joke. And, um, so Tanisha go on and 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 on about the cake. Uh, you know, bitch, go to Publix, okay? Go to Publix. And Perez looking like his ass should have been the motherfucking, uh, prop on top of the cake. Magnum gave him that outfit. He getting paid to uh, advertise. Punk rubbers. I, you can't tell me nothing different. People, maybe I'll do something serious. This is done. Bye. Fuck those bitches. I'm so glad it's over with. They are so done, tired, and fake. And you new bad girls, if any of you happen to run across my fucking video, please do not go on this season. On this, this shit in New York, New Orleans, wherever the fuck y'all going. Do not go in this house being fake as fuck. Do please don't. Please. Please. Please don't be no. Well, we don't need another Shardashian with her Walmart ass brand. The bitch talking about she a brand. The best she could do is a silly ass whole t shirt. And the inside of my bed is a fruit of a loom. Bitch, that ain't your brand. Perez, your suit sucks. And your big ass pit bull head sucks. Like, you got a big ass bobble head for real. And then he had the nerve to put on that big ass hat. Looking like the Titanic boat, bitch. Like, for real. For real, stop it. And his head is just so huge. I see how he got punched in the damn eye. Because even if the motherfucker duck, you can't miss. He got a big-ass watch. That motherfucker got a big head on him.